from Ford Field in Detroit. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Here's the Lions kicker, Austin Cyber, to do the honors, and we are underway now at Ford Field. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. So here comes the Raiders offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State. It's the pro bowler, Derek Carr. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Shotgun now for Carr. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Romeo Aquara able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's caught. It's Brian Edwards. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Working from the gun, it's Carr. That's caught by Waller out left side. Five yards, now it's third and five. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. And a throw there going to be incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. And this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. First carry for DeAndre Swift. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. There's Goff. Eluding the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He's got a man complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A big play that time through the air. 39 yards. No score after one on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Go off a handoff here to Swift. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Now a first down throw. Gone. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first to goal. Now it's gone. Escaping the pressure right. Time here for Bryant, and it's...
gets intercepted. Picked up by Nate Hobbs. And the Raiders are going to have the football here at their own 18 yard line. Well, he went on the move there and started rolling out. I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into it. Oh, looking for Waller, but this is intercepted. Picked off at the 22. And he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive? And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Quintez Cephas there to make the grab. And the Lions on one play have taken the lead. So Goff will lead his guys up to the line to go for the two-point conversion. They'll try to run with Swift. And he is into the end zone to bump the lead up two more. And so they run it in on the two-point try. And so often, Charles, we talk about from the offense's perspective what you do on the two-point conversion. How about the defense? How do they play run versus pass? It's really difficult for them because I think most teams want to play for the pass. That's what they see most teams do. And so are you able to mass enough people inside if the team decides to run it? Very difficult. I think what you're seeing a lot more now, people blitzing the two-point conversion. They want you to make a quick decision and make it right now. There, the offense wins the battle for two. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. It's a screen to Richard. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And some play callers, when they go into games, they don't mind calling a lot of screens, and they don't care what down. They were maybe one block away from really having something there to start this drive. Good job defensively to cut through the blockers and make the tackle on the screen, or that could have gone for maybe 15 or 20 yards. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it... And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Uh -oh. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Darren Waller. 44 yards. And the Raiders get a late score here, the final minute of the first half. So now Carr, he'll lead the Raiders up to go for two. They'll try to run it with Jacobs. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Well, it's definitely early enough here. They didn't need to go for two. They didn't have to go for two, but hey, they did. We're all tied at eight. Is this one of those anything you can do, I can, can match? Do. Yeah. Because that's exactly what we got on that one. Neither one of these teams wants to give any ground, do they? The Lions now taking over late in this first half. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. Buying time to his left. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. To throw is gone. Forced out to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Merrick. And the Raiders are going to take over once again at their own 37 yard line. Well, Charles, you know, so close to halftime there. You throw the interception. Not only that, you do give it to them in plus territory as well. Yeah, they were pushing real hard to try and get something more on the board on their side of the ledger right before the half. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And a potential turning point as they'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. You can easily see the logic. It's a tie game. They just wanted to press it a little bit right before the half, hoping to get one more score. Now, easy to second-guess the result, but now you have to think after that interception, just a field goal, and they're behind at the break. Yeah, I think at the half, the head coach just says, look, that's on me. I wanted to press it, but it's because I believe in you guys. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A shotgun snap for Goff. Flush to his right. 
And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. Seibert's kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter at number three. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half, they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and 10. Here's Goff. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. On the return is Renfro, dancing away at the 30. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. <laughs> on second and 10, Carr. He'll get this one complete to Zane Jones. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Shedding the tackler, and it gives him some room. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That toss play right, we know it's one of the successful plays they have in their arsenal, and they showed you why there. And remember, in order for it to be successful, because it's a little bit of a slower developing play, those blocks at the line of scrimmage have to be kept, have to be held, so that the runner can get to the corner and turn it upfield. A gain of eight there on the play, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. Working the middle here, that's complete to Moreau, the tight end. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Touchdown! It's complete. Brian Edwards from 13 yards out. And once again, the Raiders are back out in front. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that will make this a four-point game. 
So that drive goes eight plays, and it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. And Detroit back in possession of the football. And now they'll look to answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to change that here. He gets this complete to Cephas. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. That could very well be a defining play in this game. A touchdown, that gives them the lead, and they took a major step towards getting there with that big play right there. Now left side on the swing pass. The first down screen pass, good for five. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 23. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Golf. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground, just shy of the 15. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Now gone. Flushed out right. Yeah, he yeah, takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Jared Goff, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are once again going to retake the lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see him scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So Carr and the Raiders now. Down by four. A little over 80 ticks to go. Able to find Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep... And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And the Lions have just about sewn up this football game. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Once again, it's Swift. Breaks a tackle, now an alley. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. On the handoff, this is Swift. And some room to maneuver. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 
60 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Goff going to throw it. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Working with a second and three. Now it's gone. And he'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. Shifts by him. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they